Robots training for combat? NVIDIA releasing robot brains? Tesla's Optimus pulling off insane dance moves? This week, humanoid robots have gone absolutely crazy and every story feels wilder than the last. First off, Unitree's humanoids in Hangzhou are gearing up for the world's first ever MMA-style mech combat arena. Four teams, real-time remote control, fists of steel flying in late May, and here's the crazy part, it's going to air live on national TV. Imagine the roar of a crowd as two six-foot robots square up, block a kick, then counter with a spinning back fist. The stakes are huge, the hype is real, and Unitree's engineers are treating this like a moon launch. Between sparring sessions, they've been pushing the G1's balance to ridiculous extremes. Fresh footage shows the bot perched on one leg like a carbon fiber flamingo, holding Bruce Lee's sidekick pose, dipping into deep squats, even flashing a swallow balance straight out of martial arts cinema. All of that poise comes from the new Hue B framework, which fuses refined motion references, a balance-aware policy network, and sim to real training so robust you could shove the robot and watch it recover without missing a beat. One moment it's a cage match bruiser, the next it's a ballet dancer made of titanium. From high-octane combat, we pivot to a garage in Palo Alto, where K-Scale Robotics is rewriting the price tag on humanoids. Their 4'7 K-Bot clocks in at a jaw-dropping 8 grand. That's about what you'd pay for a used hatchback, but this this thing walks, talks, and can haul a grocery bag. K-Scale went from whiteboard sketch to functional platform in just five months, thanks to an open-source mindset that lets anyone clone their hardware and fork their code. Pre-orders opened with a modest $100 deposit and promptly blew through initial stock. Deliveries are slated for July. OpenAI and NVIDIA are both poking around because cheap hardware usually sparks an explosion of third-party talent. Picture high school robotics clubs modding K-Bots to sort recycling, or hobbyists teaching them extreme parkour. Today it's $8,000, tomorrow who knows, maybe half that. The personal computer revolution started in a garage. The humanoid revolution might be doing the same. Speaking of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang just strutted on stage at ComputeX and dropped Isaac GR00TN1 alongside the new GR00T Dreams blueprint. It sounds sci-fi, but the elevator pitch is simple. Feed the system a single image, say a robot hurdling a barrier, and it fabricates a mountain of synthetic motion data, then compresses the skill into bite-sized action tokens. Training that once took three months now wraps in 36 hours. Early benchmarks show success rates on standard manipulation tasks soaring past 95%. Huang isn't shy about ambition either. He flat out called humanoids the next multi-trillion dollar industry and hinted that every Jetson Thor board shipping later this year will be a plug-and-play home for GR00T. If robots can dream their own practice sessions, they're going to iterate faster than any human coach can keep up. While GR00T trains in the cloud, Shanghai-based Ajibot is strutting real-world finesse. The Lynx CX2 demo looks like a stunt reel. The robot trips, slams an elbow into concrete, then springs upright in one fluid motion. No jerks, no jitter. It's eerily quiet too, as if the servos hum in a whisper. Then comes the Neja-inspired X2N. One second it's walking like a soldier on patrol, the next it kneels, retracts its ankles, and glides away on hidden wheels, accelerating across slick tile as if someone switched gravity off. That one second transformation kills a long-standing compromise. Walkers handle stairs but crawl on flat ground, wheelers zoom on level floors but stumble on steps. X2N does both, so you could see it patrolling office corridors, then rolling down a warehouse aisle at skateboard speed. All that sets the stage for Tesla's grand entrance. Elon Musk posted a fresh Optimus clip that broke the internet. Pirouettes, the running man, and a flawless moonwalk. Real time, zero CGI, zero cables. Tesla's robotics team says they overhauled simulation fidelity, beefed up domain randomization, and tuned power management so the robot can run these dance routines back to back without thermal shutdown. The goal isn't to win Dancing with the Stars, it's to prove Optimus can nail whole body control under brutal loads. If the bot can pirouette on polished concrete, it can probably sort packages on a warehouse line, climb stairs with a 40-pound crate, or bolt battery packs onto a car chassis. Dance is just the stress test. The payoff is industrial agility. But let's zoom out. OpenAI's Sam Altman recently laid out a timeline that feels audacious, yet scarily plausible. He predicts 2025 as the year software agents start coding at scale, 2026 for AI to make landmark scientific discoveries, and 2027 as the moment robots slip seamlessly into everyday life. Think tidy kitchens, spotless hallways, round-the-clock hospital monitoring. Picture a home assistant that never forgets trash day, a line cook that flips burgers with fingerprint precision, a medical aide that tracks vitals and fetches supplies without needing coffee breaks. Altman's thesis, once we trust robots with real-world tasks, 
The economic value dwarfs anything a web app can do on a laptop screen. Some companies refuse to wait for 2027. Foundation Robotics just shipped its first production unit, Phantom, only 13 months after drafting the initial concept. Matte black composite panels, fluid servo movements, and torque sensors tuned so finely that a gentle push doesn't topple it. Phantom looks less like a prototype and more like a gadget from a near-future thriller. The founder admits the real challenge is reliability. Can a humanoid grind through an eight-hour shift without a reboot, without overheating, without dropping a crate? No one's pulled that off yet, but if Phantom manages, every logistics manager in the country will take notice. Meanwhile, Houston-based Persona AI just raised an eye-watering $27 million in pre-seed funding, the kind of check most startups see only after a Series A. Persona's plan is modular robots for the nastiest, most dangerous jobs, welding hull plates in shipyards, cutting ore in mines, rigging steel in skyscraper frames. Each bot can swap tools like a Swiss army knife, plasma cutter this morning, precision torque, wrench by afternoon. The HD Hyundai partnership already inked means test deployments in maritime construction could kick off well before Altman's milestone. If a single robot can do the work of an entire metal fabrication team in hazardous conditions, the business case sells itself. Lightning round headlines. Boston Dynamics quietly filed patents hinting at an all-electric Atlas variant. Foxlink committed to producing 500 humanoids by 2026 under NVIDIA's GR00T program and a student team at UC Berkeley just open-sourced a $5,000 3D printable humanoid light that high schoolers are already tweaking to skate down hallways. So, to recap, Unitree's robots are prepping for cage matches while balancing like gymnasts. K-Scale is slashing sticker prices so fast it feels like Black Friday for humanoids. NVIDIA's GR00T is letting robots daydream themselves into new skills. Agabot's X2N walks, kneels and wheels without breaking stride. Tesla's Optimus can dance better than most wedding guests and might soon outwork them too. Sam Altman circles 2027 on the calendar for the robot tipping point, but Foundation Robotics and Persona AI are sprinting to get there first. Clearly, humanoid robots aren't just the future. They're charging into the present at breakneck speed. Keep your notifications on because the next seven days could bring another gravity-defying demo, a surprise funding round, or a robot that beats last week's hero by a mile. Humanoid madness is a rocket you don't want to miss.